atherosclerotic disease or hardening of the blood vessels, plaques, atherosclerotic plaques or atheroma that form on the blood vessels can form anywhere in the cerebrovascular system, out in the distal blood vessels or the medium-sized blood vessels or even the proximal major blood vessels in the brain. So we can see strokes of any sizes, though we tend to see moderate territory strokes in the anterior posterior circulation anywhere in the brain. And so atherosclerosis is a common risk factor we're evaluating and etiology we would be considering. Lacunar strokes are small vessel strokes. A lacoon is an island, and this is an island of stroke deep in the brain, often in the subcortical gray matter or sometimes white matter tracts. These small strokes form on small blood vessels, the perforators. We think about the thalamostriate perforators and other small vessels in and around the brain that can lead to lacunar strokes. And long-standing hypertension is an important risk factor. And then the last type of stroke is the watershed stroke. This doesn't come from a blood clot. It's the one ischemic stroke that's not from a clot in a blood vessel, but from reduced blood flow. And we see this in areas where vascular beds are collateralizing. So it's at those collateral watershed territories in between major vessels that are supplying the brain.